Welcome all. Um, I take this opportunity just to um, briefly describe um, the the aspects of the case study three. Um, I know you might be really working hard um, in these in these times just to just to finish this assignment. Um, it's it's a very interesting uh, uh, aspects of uh, civil design because um, it does it does uh, go through some of the aspects of lateral pressure and make it more complicated because so far you have uh, worked through some of the settlements which is a vertical loading but um, these aspects of design will give you an interesting um, you know interesting aspects of forces laterally um, so which is basically horizontally and also vertically and com combination of that and what is your design feature right uh, the the project itself uh, is from a site, typical site, you know, typical layout we got here. Um, it's in WA. And you're basically building a retaining wall along this this side. So it's, it's almost like a 40-meter um, wall. So it's, it's a complete uh, straight strip. Um, so uh, I'm not making it. Um, more complicated. It's it's a straight a straight ship. Um, sometimes your retaining walls will have contours and you know turns and stuff like that. But um, it's simply a, 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 a vertical line, and it is adjacent to a, a, an already existing house. And I would recommend you to go into uh, Google Drive or Google Maps and see uh, where the plot is. So the basically the wall is here. It's going here. So I have given you some uh, basic files, uh, which gives you a, a, an idea on how the feasibility was established. And as I told you, uh, the details are missing. And it's your job to work through those details and come up with the details, um, you know, uh, which which undermines, you know, which undermines the 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 basic safety um, standards, uh, local guidelines, and also at the same time uh, the the sort of um, a safe and a long um, a longevity within the structure. Because um, see see those aspects, you know, what material you are going to use, you know, how the material is going to work over the period, you know, and, and look at the aspects of um, costing. Some of the the, uh, the costing aspects, earthwork aspects, foundation aspects, building of the retaining wall. Uh, with the material that you have chosen and and so on so there is some feasibility is already done um, i have included a dwg file as well uh, so that uh, it's easy for you to draw uh, the details um, this time i'm not only expecting a, a very um, you know uh, vague concept but a a detail uh, detail uh, drawing so it could be an example if you are using a if you are using a, um, a limestone walls, you know I want a detail like this. You know how you are laying out your courses. Where is your, uh, you know either you are using the same limestone as a foundation or a different foundation. You know drainage aspects um, and the levels and and, and and so on. You know so that um, we are very clear uh, for the either for the builder or uh, or the uh, or the client. Uh, what is going to happen, you know? Um, because see, this is this is a complete um, uh, aspects of um, uh, you know my project project management, um, costings, you know, addressing the risks within the project and giving a giving a full detail uh, and a uh, concept, you know, detail detail idea of uh, what what the project is, you know. So the example could be a retaining wall for in your case. One of them would be a, like this, or which is basically a limestone, or it could be a, a concrete uh, type of um, establishment. There are a couple of options. You know, I told you uh, to research into it so because their their um, you know unit weight uh, is going to change. You know, unit weight per length is going to change, and uh, we need to see that you know the, depending on the the pressures, the active and the passive passive pressures. Um, what uh, typical loading would be would be a feasible loading? You know, uh, you want you want to keep it um, as heavy as it can be and uh, as cheaper it can be. You know, so in this case, I want the details of foundation. If it is a cantilevered, if it is a um, equal distribution, you know, I want the details of covers, uh, steel, 
um, the width of the the concrete uh, wall, the width of the foundations, you know, the drainage details, the backfill details, um, and and so on, you know, so that so that you have a design, a typical design like this, which is going to address the uh, almost like a three meter high. Um, uh, um, uh, Three meter high earth, um, and just behind the wall, and so that the client client basically can start, um, you know, assuring that it is addressed on this side um, of the soil. So so he can he can move on to getting a typical ground level here and uh, start his uh, build uh, and so on. So I would I would recommend you to um, go back to the. Uh, the textbook. Uh, I'll come back to this one, but with it, within the textbook, uh, your retaining wall should address the aspects of overturning, sliding, uh, bearing capacity, uh, failures. You know, at least three of them. You know, don't, don't go into the fourth. But if you have a time, then then uh, make some assumptions. You know, it's it's all on your assumptions and predictions. I'm pretty free on it. But if you clearly highlight um, some of the some of the assumptions and going back to the feasibility. Uh, if they are taking some of the feasibility allowances from here in terms of uh, various uh, uh, pressure coefficients or uh, shear strength, take take those into considerations. You know, in 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 looking at the soil properties and also some of the foundation design. I have referred to um, some of the standards as well. Um, you have access to all those standards. Um, look at the standards. Um, I have given you a basic analogy on on uh, what happens with this uh, loading, uh, but I want you to go and establish it in much more detail um, using the using the theory that you have learned in the chapter seven and chapter eight, um, so that uh, it addresses you know you are checking really the base for the sliding, you are checking for the bearing capacity. You know, and and you you need to get the, the 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 typical dimensions, which allows all that to happen. You know, I did not cover that in the in the initial feasibility, but it is your job um, to come up and finalize finalize the design, which which has either this sort of uh, details, um, in uh, you know, uh, and and uh, and uh, base or toe or heel, you know, and and so and so on, um, and. Uh, yeah, see, this the that's the, uh, that's, the, that's the thing with the, with this particular book, um, and and I'm I'm pretty free on some of the assumptions you're going to make, and using different uh, factor of safeties, which is very important um, to make sure with uh, it's a, it's a safe design, as I said to you earlier, uh, and and some of you know include the vertical loads, include the include the the bearing pressure, you know. And also the friction, so it, it's up to you whether you're using a Rankine or Coulomb type of uh, equations um, uh, to come up to come up with the solutions and uh, and also the uh, design uh, details. I did I did put um, some of the uh, the Excel uh, calculations. You know there are a couple of um, spreadsheets which I included, which gives you some of the unit prices and and also. Um, some of the various parameters uh, in terms of um, you know drainage or the earthworks and so on, but I did give an estimate, overall estimates of um, uh, typical options. You know you can vary the typical options and then come up with the, the overall cost. Uh, so what would be the ma management cost, design cost, and uh, and typical construction works that is going to happen with this uh, retaining wall, so that client can make it and give a call um, on uh, give a give a call on um, you know which which is there which is the best best option uh, and which is a safe option for him um, to start uh, his other works at the site you know so I hope uh, this uh, a small uh, video um, um, helps you uh, and also come up with a, a solution for a, a Wall. If you got any questions, um, please uh, drop me an email, and um, and uh, and we'll we'll work from there. Thank you.